What's going on, people? So, real quick, nobody's going to care about this, but that's why there are timestamps. So, here's the thing, right? Usually when I do these reviews, like for shoes or whatever, I'll usually go with a shirt that kind of goes with the shoe. Sometimes it matches in color, other times it just matches in theme, basically, right? So, that was the case for today. So, when I was doing my little review earlier, I just saw the pair of shoes, got out, you know, started doing the whole review thing, and I shot the whole thing, did all the extra stuff, got all the pictures I needed and all that, which took a lot of like turning off lights, reshooting things. If you saw that review, you know what I'm talking about. And then like two minutes ago, it clicked. That wasn't the pair of shoes I was supposed to be reviewing today. So now I'm doing this video. On this particular box right here, let's see, these are, this came from Nike and luckily they're doing this sort of thing where the shoes are a little easier to get into. Then you know, having to pull out scissors and stuff, so that's good. But, anyways, put that over there. This right here, this right here is the pair of shoes that I'm supposed to be reviewing today. So, I guess now I'm just gonna be a little ahead for the week, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and what does this say as far as colors go? Light graphite and obsidian black. Okay, I'm probably not gonna remember that, but whatever. Let's go ahead and pull these things out. Air Max 97, right? Like, if you've been following along for a while, I did that review, not the review, but that little list of my favorite Air Max silhouettes a while ago. These were somewhere on the list, the 97. And this particular one, yes, okay, I was, I was right about that, good, good. And this particular one came out not too long ago. I saw it and I was like, well, that's something that I feel like I should have. And so some number of dollars later, here we are. And the tie-in here, this this is the, what is this, the Air Max 97 EOI, or IOE, I think it's EOI, I forget what that stands for, but it has something to do with Japanese trains or something, and then obviously like the whole Japanese thing, with the shirts, this King Omega thing. Right, so there's a bit of a tie-in there, and for those who would have missed it otherwise, there you go. And I've never been on one of those trains before, one of those Japanese bullet trains, but I have been on a pretty fast train in Norway. I don't know what the speed difference is, but it got us wherever we were going, like, super fast. Unfortunately, where it got us to was the wrong airport, so then we had to go back. Because Norway, where we were, it's kind of shaped like this, right? So, like, we were down over here, but we needed to be over here, so we had to go back up and then come back down. And of course, the trip back up was on like the slowest train they make. So I was like, well, this is, this is not great. Either way, let's go ahead and get things back on track and talk about these. No pun intended, you know, the whole trains and tracks and whatnot. Let's, let's just talk about these. We're going to start with the bottom, okay? So down on the bottom, this is very much your standard Air Max 97 outsole. The picture will say everything that I would have said. Moving on to the midsole, though. Here, we've got some nice coloring going on. I didn't realize that was there from the pictures because I probably didn't really look at the pictures, to be honest. But yeah, you got a little bit of color going on there, a nice little flare, if you will. So that's pretty all right on, on the bottom there with the bubble. And now we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the upper, right? So looking at the upper here, not a whole lot going on, right? It's very much just gray. Yeah, it's very much just gray. But you've got the normal styles wavy sort of thing going on with the with the way the 97s are made there is probably some elements of 3m slipped in there somewhere that's where pictures will have to show you what they are or are not but then moving back here to the middle area though the first selling point for me for buying this particular shoes was this here because like is that corduroy that kind of makes me want these a little bit more than your average. It's already a nice looking 97, but the corduroy added a few bonus points. And this is actually corduroy, so, you know, that's all right. So there's that. It's the same on both sides, right? And then, like I said, the rest of it is just this, I don't know how you want to describe it. My dad, when I gave him his cowboy 97s, finally, he said that these kind of remind him of like a running track, you know? So, well, yeah, they do kind of have that sort of thing going on. However you describe it is however you describe it. Moving on to the back here, we got just this Air Max pull tab thing. 
a lot of color going on there as well. I'll slip a picture in so you can see what I'm talking about. And then bring things on over to the front. Over here, you also have a little bit more color than your average. So while these are fairly plain up front, if you look a little bit closer, that's where the color starts to come in. It's kind of like those, was it like live together, play together ones, I think it was, where they were fairly plain on the outside, but it's like party on the inside. Same situation, kind of, sort of. So looking at the front here, right? The tongue, you got more of that corduroy style thing going on, which is cool. Got those normal strips holding down the laces. But on the side, like I was saying, you got these little pops of color where those little lace holder thingies are on the side. So there's that for you. And then once you get to the very tip of the top, you got the tongue there. And that's also equally colorful, right? So there's that with a little red pull tab. Now we've covered pretty much the whole outside of the shoe, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I have, but I don't know. I'll figure it out later, or I won't because it'll be too late. Let's go ahead and move on to the inside anyway. So looking in there at the insole there, it's pretty nice. You know, it's got Air Max kind of just written in there. It's got some extra little numbers and whatnot going on. Either way, very much similar to what you might expect if you've seen the outside is what's going on on the inside. So there's that for you. If these insoles come out easily, I'll get you a picture of the insole. If not, know that I wasn't working, wasn't willing to put in the work to make that happen. And there we go. So that being that, quick thoughts overall of the whole outside of this shoe, taking this thing all in. I am pleased with the money I spent on this particular pair of shoes. So there is the summary of my review. However, that's only the halfway point. The rest of it is talking about the sizing and showing you what they look like on the feet and whatnot. So we're gonna do that because people like that kind of thing I've realized over the years. I can say that now that I've been doing this a while. Okay, so sizing wise, you know what I bought these in? Nine and a half because your general Air Max to me is a solid true to size fit. These do not disappoint. Now I will say they do kind of have a, a sort of a narrow design so that might be an issue for some people. Don't hit me with your wide-footed questions because I'm not a wide-footed guy and I cannot answer them. Head on over to, I'd say, McFly KOF, maybe, what's his name, uh, me and my kicks. Ask one of them what they think about Air Max 97s and how they fit. Maybe they'll have a different perspective for you. Moving on, though. As far as the comfort of these, I was wearing a pair of 97s yesterday, or maybe, no, today, actually. And I gotta say, they feel pretty good. Are they an amazing wear? Nah, I wouldn't say that, but again, it's an older shoe. For what it is though, if you need something to wear all day that your feet aren't gonna be mad about, it's definitely something to consider. I'll give it that, right? It's especially compared to other things from older eras, they tend to hold their own fairly well, right? So all in all, if you're looking for, again, a nice day long, comfortable shoe, I would say that the 97 will do that for you. Just try to find a, find a deal because these are generally fairly expensive. Luckily, there was some kind of discount or something I was able to use and got, that pulled these down a little bit. But man, what is the, the retail of these? A lot? Yeah, don't pay all that. All right, so I think we've covered enough of the thoughts on the shoe and whatnot. So we can go ahead and wrap this review up. But I will show you the side of the box though because I am curious what these... Okay, retail. Well, retail is only 180 which is still a lot, you know? I say only 180 but it's still a lot, right? Probably because I've looked at some shoe the other day and it said 200 on the box. We're done. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am, I guess, going to do another on feet, take some more pictures and whatnot, do a live in about three and a half hours. It's kind of a busy afternoon. It's supposed to be done by now, but, you know, that's on me. It is what it is. Can't complain about it. So just going to move on and deal with it. For now, later, people.